Helen Waitley. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. On behalf of my constituents of Faversham and Mid Kent, I will echo the moving words we just heard from King Charles III. Your late Majesty the Queen, thank you, and may you rest in peace. A rest truly earned through a lifetime of service. Most of us across our country cannot remember a time before Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. She has been a constant in a changing and often dangerous world, a source of strength and steadfastness. A leader by example with the courage to carry on whatever the storm. And she showed us that strength and courage need not be at the expense of kindness or indeed humour. And she touched the lives of so many people in the UK and around the world, old and young alike. I am sure we have all been asked when visiting primary schools, have you met the Queen? In fact, more often than we're asked, have you met the Prime Minister? <laughs> Sadly, my answer to the first of those questions has always been no. But I do have something that I'm very personally grateful to her for. During the pandemic, Her Majesty the Queen addressed the nation. It was a dark time and I remember her address very well, not only for the compassion and hope she expressed, but for one particular detail. As care minister, I was endeavouring to get social care staff thought of and talked about on a par with staff in the NHS. When I heard the Queen was going to make an address, I sought to get a message to her. I don't know to this day if it reached her, but what mattered is when she got to that section of her address, when she spoke of healthcare staff, she spoke of health and social care staff in the same breath. And she realised how important her words would be to those care workers across the country. And that brought tears to my eyes. After the bleak time of the pandemic, she then brought our communities together for her jubilee, a joyful celebration of what we have in common. As a nation, we mourn her, but her family are first and foremost in my thoughts as they mourn a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother. I wish them strength and solace in a life so long and well-lived. And our thoughts are with our new king. We know he will serve with passion and dedication, and on behalf of my constituents, I wish him strength and good fortune as he takes on the responsibilities of our head of state. Long live the king. Yeah. <laughs>